Well, after plenty of pre-match anticipation, the wait is finally over. My name is Derek Ray. I'm joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a spectacular final. It's Real Madrid against Atletico Madrid. The instructions will have been clear from the managers, Derek. Stick to the game plan. Don't take risks in your defending third and embrace the occasion. Don't be frightened of it. What a game this should be. Karim Benzema, who's played at such a high level in an attacking sense for so long. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him here? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. dissect the Real Madrid side Thibaut Courtois begins in goal Ferlon Mendy plays with Nacho Fernandez as fullbacks Toni Kroos plays alongside Federico Valverde in central midfield and the lead striker today is Karim Benzema and this is how Atletico will line up Jan Oblak stands between the posts Rodrigo de Paul starts alongside Jeffrey Condompia in the centre of midfield and up front Morata starts alongside Antoine Griezmann every reason to believe this is going to be something special at the Bernabeu and they get the ball rolling This is looking threatening. Rudiger. This is Kroos. Benzema. And now Rodrigo. Surely! And a decent save. Full credit. Trying to deliver it accurately. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Vinicius Junior to jump in front. And a goal! As Real Madrid strike first in the final. And just listen to their fans. Well, here it is again. And the clearance just isn't good enough. Giving up possession in a dangerous area. Just poor defending all round. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Marcos Llorente. Advantage Atletico. At times they make passing look easy. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't. This could level it. And they bought themselves a bit of time. Terrific block. On Dogbia. It did look on for them, but not to be. Now well Molina. Rodrigo de Paul. Riesman. Lovely work to get past his man, but staff defending when it mattered.
Karim Benzema. A struggle for Real Madrid to hang on to the ball. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. But the danger averted for now. Benzema seducing with his passing. And they could do damage. Vinicius. And the cross didn't beat the first man. Well, over the top, but it will go through to the keeper. And given away by Atletico. Rodrigo. Who continues his run. Benzema hovering, far post. Well, it didn't really work the keeper when all was said and done. Condombia. Now Griezmann might profit. Good tackle. Well, those stats show us that Real Madrid haven't had that much of the ball, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. Oh, surely! And a goal to increase the lead in this final! Will they be stopped now? Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure that his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. moving again, 2-0 is how it stands De Paul deserves credit for winning the ball back so on the cusp of half time and Real Madrid well on top Stuart, interested as always to get your take well, from an attacking point of view, it's been a very good performance. I've really liked the way they've got the ball from back to front, then how the forwards have got away from their markers and the speed of their attacks as well. It's been a really impressive first half. Not problematic for the keeper. Rodrigo de Paul. The referee has decided to give the free kick to Atletico. Delivered into the box. The clearance wasn't decisive. He's in control of the situation. Llorente. From Dombia. And there it is. Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it. And suddenly the ball is being played back into their danger area and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. So the action continues. Can Atletico push for a leveller here? Camavinga. There will be one minute added on at the end. Benzema. This is Kroos. Happy to take on the shot. Ball is loose. Corner for Real Madrid. Can someone get on the end of this? And the problem not completely solved. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. And with that, the first half draws to a close.
into the second half then and it's going to be fascinating to see whether or not Atletico can turn this game on its head Morata and successfully cut out Vinicius Junior and given away by Atletico can he find the net? well the keeper had a lot of ground to cover splendid save and here's a change now for Atletico to go short and a fine cross but at one point on its flight I wondered if the keeper would have difficulties but no problems in the end so plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here Benzema's pass not accurate enough and yes man now can they counter clinically An astute piece of defending. Vinicius Junior. Well, there you have it. Atletico have controlled most of the possession, but they aren't doing enough with it. They need to pass it quicker, play forward earlier, and show more energy. Otherwise, they won't get back into this one. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Vinicius Junior. Well, pressing really high. Now well Molina. Griezmann. Might be able to set up the chance. And the cross fired over, but no real central pressure applied. Breaking at pace. Looked like an effective counter-attack, but brilliantly read. Vinicius Junior. Went in strongly to win the ball. And I'll tell you what, that didn't miss by much. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. A safe pair of hands did his job. Not a good pass. And it's a quality pass. Marcos Llorente. And return to Correa. Ray Nildo. And now Correa. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Now well, the big question here is, can Real Madrid get over the line? Can they make it a victory? Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen from them? Well, they should have had this wrapped up long. And in with a real chance. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Ten minutes left for play. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Excellent ball over the top. And now here's Aiden Azar. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. 
Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain, no one is leaving because it's still close. Well, the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. Tony Kors. Now with Benzema. Delightful pass. Karim Benzema. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Kors. Benzema, can he finish them off? Well, he probably should have done, but couldn't take advantage of the chance. Well, that's a wasteful finish. I just hope he won't be regretting that come the end of the game. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity.